Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is our little corner of the internet where we talk about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling, and just about anything and everything that will keep you inspired. So today I'm coming to you from my porch because it was one of the quietest places in the house. We have the ACs running inside. It's quite hot out, so we're just trying to keep the background noise to a minimum. Well, today I want to do something very, very special for you guys. This is an unboxing video of a Grail pen. I cannot tell you how excited I am. So let's go into the studio. I'm so excited to do this unboxing. Now, give you a little bit of context. I had to turn off the air conditioning to do this so that you wouldn't hear a hum in the background. Hopefully the refrigerator will stay asleep and we won't get any interference from it as well. So we're going to do this quickly because it's about 100 degrees outside and um, it's been quite a vicious summer. But I'm very excited to show you this, what's in this box. I'm going to use my Benchmade bailout, which is an M4 coated Tonto blade. Actually needs a little bit of a sharpening, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, technically, I could just rip my way through. I did cut my actual address out here. But uh, let's, let's just open this up and get right to it, shall we? The package is pretty nice. So you have your DHL packaging. I'm gonna toss that so it doesn't make too much noise. And then there's a really nice inner box here. What we have is a nice cardboard box. I can feel a lot of cushioning, a tab to draw. Open it up, okay, so fantastic. It now is gaping open. There's some really nice packaging in here. Further paper. I'm I'm going to toss out of the way because you have to be mindful of the condenser mic. We'll toss that. See what we have here is a nice squarish box. This is exciting. Oh, message. I'm going to cover up my real name, guys. You know how that is. But I'll show you the very, very nice handwriting. So it says, oh, what can you read this? Can you see what it says? It says, Un enjoy. Your Mont Blanc Le Grand fountain pen. Regards, Frank. Here's the company. I believe they're out of the Netherlands. So here we go. I'm gonna slide it out. Here's the big moment. Well, one of the big moments. I think there's several big moments in this processing, but here is step one. And do you hear that? The air conditioner has said hello. Wait, that's not the air conditioner. The refrigerator has said hello. Hello, refrigerator. Look at this. Is that a clue as to what we have here? Now, this is a really important moment, guys. When I add a new pen, especially a special one like this, you're going to hear a lot about this pen. I'm sure I'll make multiple videos on it. It'll be part of my whole pen aesthetic going forward. It's going to give me new ideas and new inspirations. It's going to open different doors, take us into this internal sphere that we've never imagined. So I think we should celebrate this time, don't you? I have this lovely gold rimmed glass that I picked up in Venice and I found one of my baby bottles of my favorite whiskey some big bottles in the basement. I get this for um, gifts at the holidays in my profession. It's one of my favorites. It's Blue Label, Johnny Walker. So I think with a, uh, a purchase like this, I'm really excited, guys. I'm really happy about this one. We have to celebrate this one with a little imbibement. So if you're having one at home, let's raise a glass. Here's to new pens and new possibilities. Cheers. I think you need to have a sense of occasion. It's really important when you bring in a really nice pen. So here we are, beautiful Mont Blanc packaging. Looks like we unfold it. 
Oh, now look at that, huh? Beautiful presentation box. Really, really, really nice. So, let's see what's inside, shall we? Being very careful. Okay, flips up. Look at this, wow. So we have Mont Blanc here, the pen here. Oh, look at that, huh? What a lovely, lovely little beastie this is. And it has the designation there of the nib type, which is pretty exciting. You guys, I don't know if you realize this, but this, my friends, is a grail for me. I can't tell you how excited I am that I found this at a price that was reasonable. Look, you can see right through it with the incredible ink window. It's always fun when you get these empty. You can see right through it there. The beautiful ink level window. Of course, we have a piston filled pen. And guys, look at this. I mean, I'm sure I'll do some beautiful B-roll. I'll try to hold it steady now, but look at that. Now, I know you guys know what this is, but I'm going to say it anyway. This is the calligraphy nib. They're soft, flexible nib, said to be one of the closest matches to a vintage nib from a modern manufacturer. Now, I have a couple soft nibs from them, but have never had their calligraphy nib. So this is very exciting. So it's just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous pen, gorgeous nib. Can't wait to get some ink in it and to try it out. But it is thicker than I remembered it. And I think that goes far towards saying that you really need to experience a pen before purchasing it. Now, of course, I took a big risk buying this from the Netherlands, sort of. I mean, I know the company, I'd be very comfortable with them, bought a lot of things from them. And let's face it, I bought this pen for the nib. I cannot wait to get ink in this. I'll be obsessing over which ink to put in, but it's just such a beautiful, brilliant pen. A smaller version compared to the 149, which for me makes it more of an everyday pen even with the calligraphy nib. I can't wait to see my signature with it. I just can't wait to write in my journal with it. We're gonna have so many adventures. I just can't wait to embark on a new journey with this pen. And to be honest with you, after this, I really don't know what's next. Hi guys, so we're back in the library. We're going to fill this amazing Mont Blanc 146 Legrand with the flex nib. So exciting stuff. And uh, being mindful of warranties and whatnot, and the fact that we're broadcasting this around the world to whomever might see this, including representatives of Mont Blanc, we're going to use a Mont Blanc ink. We have several choices. We have this lovely lilac, which by the way, the, the box sort of looks like a whiskey decanter. It's very luxe. We have homage to Montezuma. It's beautiful blue green color. Very nice. We also have this oyster gray, which is quite nice. And the classic Mont Blanc royal blue. We have Mont Blanc Egyptian blue. Now, I'm caught between Egyptian blue and royal blue, to be honest. It's a beautiful color blue, guys. I can't impress upon you enough how nice this color is. Look at that as I dip my finger in there. But that's okay. It's hard. I'm juggling two cameras, an air conditioner. We're just going with the noise, ladies and gentlemen, so forgive me for that. So we have this pen, this gorgeous work of art. Super excited. 
I love getting something brand new. I don't often buy very, very luxe pens, but uh, I'll tell you, I couldn't fill this without filming it. I just felt like I needed to share it with you guys. You're like my extended family of pen aficionados now. So, so this is a big moment. I should probably have more booze, but uh, we need to do this correctly. So we got the very open ink reservoir that we're about to fill with this gorgeous, gorgeous blue, Egyptian blue ink. So I'm very old school guys, when I fill up, I always like to expel, if you will, a drop. Just to prime the nib and to make sure there's something in the reservoir. I have had pens that you think are full and they're just very cantankerous and they're not. So one of the ways you can be sure is to give it a little a little squeeze out of a drop or two. We have a Mont Blanc 146 full of ink. This is the first time I'm going to write with it. I got this nice Claire Fontaine pad. So here's the moment. I'm really excited. I'm not expecting much because it takes a little bit of time to get your technique down. Here we go. So let's see what happens, my friends. Okay. Very nice. Very nice line variation there. I'm afraid to overflex it, guys. Probably justifiably. It's very nice. It's a nice writing experience. I do feel like it needs it needs a very flowy ink. I'm wondering how the feed will keep up with my writing. So I'll make some loops here. Some nice nice dips there. The ink is certainly very flowy, which we like. So there we have it. Our first few lines with the Legrand 146 from Mont Blanc with a flex nib, a grail pen. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to learn how to write with it. It's gonna take some technique. This pen is going to open a lot of doors. It's gonna write a lot of signatures a lot of interesting thoughts so thanks for spending this time with me i'm glad i got to document my first moments with this amazing pen so what do you think of the mont blanc 146 with a calligraphy nib is it one of your grail pens is it something you'd be interested in trying let me know in the comments also i release new videos each thursday at noon so expect to see me again very soon until then take care